Hi, I'm Brian, Service Manager at Whole Latte Love, and today we're going to show you how to take the paneling off of a Profitec Pro 700. All right. What First do we got to do? Oh, tools. Right? Tools. First thing we need. It's very simple. You need two Allen wrenches, a 2.5 and a 3 millimeter. Mm -hmm. Also a good idea to have a towel because you will be leaning the machine on its side and you don't want to cause any scratching. All right. To that effect, I will point out one more thing. Anytime I'm working on these machines, uh, get the scratchy stuff off the body, right? <laughs> rings, anything that could cause a scratch, these will scratch easily mm -hmm. when it's metal on metal. So we're going to start by taking off all the accessories. Drip tray, cup riser, cup warmer, and the reservoir. It's all behind me here. Okay, we're going to start at the top of the machine. This top panel here, there are four screws. I'm just going to go ahead and take all of those off. Okay, now you can go ahead and take the top panel off, set that to the side as well. All right, now. We're going to need to turn the machine onto its back. I'm going to lay down my towel. Just gently right back with it. This is where we're going to move to the three millimeter wrench. We've got six bolts to remove. Two on either side, two on the bottom. Okay, now you can turn the machine back up on its legs. You will feel it coming loose as you go. There are still two more screws that we need to loosen. These just need to be loosened, not completely removed. Now, let's see that one, it's probably get a better angle. And it's right up in here. This panel's already started to slip down a little bit. You can see there's a channel shaped like an L. It'll drop down, and then once you loosen it, It'll slide out from here. The entire panel, all three parts, will come out together. So those don't have to come all the way out. Right. No, they do not. Okay. Just loose enough that you got a little bit of wiggle to it. Mm -hmm. The way you're not, biggest part is when you're putting it back together, you might end up fighting with it a lot more if you don't loosen it enough. So that's that little L-shaped channel that right in there. Yeah. So once you go to put this back in, in the other view, it'll pop in like that, mm -hmm. and up, and then tighten down to hold the panel in. All right. Yeah. That's pretty much all there is to it, right? That is all there is to it, and after that, just repeat the steps backwards, starting up here. The biggest thing to keep in mind when you're putting everything back together is that you're going to want to kind of lift up when the machine is on its back, lift up on the front of the drip tray, and just pay close attention to the front edges when your paneling is lining up, just to make sure that everything is flush. It won't affect anything, but it looks prettier when it's flush. All right, Brian. Thanks so much for taking us through that. Not a problem. Want to learn more? Subscribe now so you'll know about the latest videos on everything coffee from Whole Latte Love.